Well, I'm standing here with Amy Biggie, and today we're going to be talking about fall decor. And what I love about this space right here, Amy, it's, you know, this beautiful house, this beautiful front door, and this really, just this little bit of work and effort made such a grand entrance for a long time. Right, yeah, it, it's wonderful. I love fall, and fall is a great time to just bring some natural things and also some beautiful foliage and different um, flowering plants for fall into your home and also to your doorstep. So let's talk about, like, the, the bones of the structure, I'm assuming, would be the little bales of hay. Right. Yeah, you can start with bales of hay, super easy. Um, corn stalks, uh -huh. dried corn stalks are another great addition to just kind of give that nice look. Pumpkins are always great and they have that nice contrasting bright color, especially with dark foliage yeah. like this millet, Love that millet right here. And then you can add some Indian corn, some little gourds, and just some fun fall foliage like mums and hookah. Yeah. And you know what I think is interesting and, and people should be aware of, I mean, you can do this if, you, if you're an early decorator, you want to start right at right with September, but this with just a few changes can last all the way through Thanksgiving. So what are some of the things that you would maybe have to switch out or change up a little bit to keep it fresh? Sure. Uh, well, it will last a long time. And the great thing about pumpkins and different gourds is if you don't actually carve them, they'll last through the season until yeah. Thanksgiving. Um, some things that you might have to change out are, are the chrysanthemums. Uh, maybe. Um, and you'd also want to make sure that you're watering them. Let's not forget right, that because you're under right. a porch. So <laughs> Definitely. When you're undercover, you need to make sure that you're still hitting them with water. But uh, most of the plants, the different foliage, like the hookara and the millet, those will last all the way yeah. until Thanksgiving. Well, and then, you know, what I, I loved as we walked up here to do this, I noticed these beautiful black pots that you had. Uh, right. And they've been kind of moved away, but those are so easy because then for Christmas, you can just move those right back up when all of this is gone and right. continue it on through the season then. Right, yeah, I love planting evergreens and different perennials mixed yeah. with just a little bit of color like pansies that last all through the season yeah. in the winter. Well, and a new, I think a, a fun thing too about this, all of this stuff here, I mean, the mums certainly are hardy, the, right. the hookahs are hardy, the millet isn't, but you can still leave it out for things. So there's a lot right. of stuff you can recycle in this decor. Exactly, yes. And you can even plant plants out in your yard when you're yeah. done with them on your, on your porch. You can use the straw, go use it as a mulch out in your garden when yeah. you're done. Vegetable so. gardens love that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's all Perfect. kinds of great them. And, and the fun thing too is so much of this stuff you can go right to any of the, the owls and buy them to help decorate your house. For more information on that, you go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to the owls website. Thank you so much, Amy. Great, thank you.